Hi guys. Hi guys. Hello. So I wanted to film a video but I didn't know what to film but I still wanted to make a video and upload it and connect with you guys um, I think this is gonna be a get ready with me slash just talking it's currently 2.20 you can see in my MacBook it's 2.20 p.m. and the reason why I'm getting ready right now is because um, I already worked during the morning and then I ate lunch and now I'm back in my room and I have a little bit of time to get ready but these days since it's so dry I almost always have to come back and reapply my moisturizer and sunscreen because normally that's all I wear for my face but it's so dry so I just washed my face and I'm going to do my skincare again but I haven't found the right combination for my face because it's been so 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 dry not only for my face but for my body as well I've been applying body lotions but they're not really working so I bought a few products but they're yet to come anyway um, I'm first going to apply this mist um, that I've been really liking so far this is the focus this is the Vully Vully Artemisia Balance Essence and this is really popular these days and I bought it because I wanted to know what the hype is all about but I think it's it's okay it's not like life-changing but I do like it. It's 100% Artemisia. So I'm going to just spray it on my face. I love how it's an essence that you can just spray on. Because I love like spray on mist. Because that's so convenient. Oh and by the way, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, I'm a doctor slash YouTuber. And I make videos about my life. It's just yeah about my life and if you aren't subscribed already go ahead and click subscribe and like this video for more videos and let's move on to the next step normally i just apply this um physio gel you guys know that i always just apply this the physio gel daily moisture therapy but this is not enough so i've been using different products but i haven't found the one you know and next is this green tangerine serum Vita C Dark Spot Serum by Kudal um, I bought this because it was also very popular I don't really get why it's like so popular Not really And this is really good lighting by the way And a lot of you have been asking me what major I'm going to be majoring in since I'm an intern doctor now and my internship is going to end next month which is February and today is January 30th which means January is almost over Yay. I think I mentioned it in like a few videos but I haven't like mentioned it officially I guess so starting from uh, March 1st I'm going to be a resident so in Korea, after you be a doctor, you can choose to be an intern for an year and then you can choose your residency. If you do not complete your internship year, then you cannot apply to be a resident. So that's why we all have to be an intern for a year. So starting March 1st, I'm going to be a resident in radiology department and mostly all departments are four years but um, internal medicine and general surgery and family medicine those are three years but other than that mostly are four years and then i'm going to apply this cnp laboratory ample and oil ample oil and cream and i bought this because it says oil and cream so it must be very moisturizing right because there's oil in it and the title is ample oil and cream so i thought it would be really really moisturizing but for my skin i, I don't know in other people's skins but for me it just stays moisturizing for like an hour maybe an hour if not like 30 to 40 minutes and then it just disappears i don't know where it goes but it disappears and it sucks so whenever I apply this before going to sleep, whenever I wake up like in the middle of the night, it's it's all gone. So I'm not really a huge fan of this. Nuh uh, I'm just, yeah. Oh, and by the way, I'm currently rotating urology right now. And in about like 30 minutes, I have to go like scrolling down the hospital and get permissions and do ABGAs because that's what, 
urology interns do for tomorrow's surgery but all of the patients aren't admitted yet and after i apply this oil and cream i'm going to apply the ultralight daily uv defense sunscreen that i always love And this is very very moisturizing for those of you who don't know and that's why i always 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 use it on a daily basis so it helps for keeping your skin moisturized and then i apply my lips i use this peripera ink velvet in number 18. yeah that is how it looks like it's just this really natural color And then I top it off with this YSL Volupte Day Liquid Color Balm in number 7. And I bought this at the Duty Free when I had some extra cash. It's really pretty. It's this kind of a coralish color and it's really pretty, guys. And this is how I leave the room normally. But today, since I'm filming and I have some extra time, why don't I put a foundation on and do a little bit of more makeup. So for foundation, I always use this NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I've been using this for like a year. Yeah, I got this before I started my internship and now it's been a year but it has a lot of product in it. And I only use one pump of it, like literally one pump yeah that's it that's how much i use for my face this is wonders like this is my all-time favorite foundation i'm going to apply it all over my face and i'm going to use this sponge that i got like a few days ago and this is the olive young um jelly king sponge as you can see i've used this part already so i'm going to use the other part i dampened the sponge i'm not a big fan of this sponge i just got it but i don't i don't think i'm going to repurchase it and i've seen like a bunch of comments recently um, asking me to do like a video of my favorite songs, my playlist because whenever I make like daily vlogs, you guys seem to really like the songs that I'm listening to. 50% of them are pop songs and 50% of them are K-pop. So sometimes I don't know what the title is in English. So it's kind of hard for me to let you guys know because some of them are hardcore Korean and I don't know the official song name in English so that was a little bit tricky but I guess um, if you guys want me to do like a, a favorite playlist or favorite songs like my recent favorite songs video um, then please let me know in the comments down below and definitely like this video so I can know that you guys want one moving on uh, let's do blush so my favorite favorite blush which is the Sorbet Pop by Clinique. It's so pretty, it's so pretty. It looks really orangey, but once you put it on, it's not that orange. It's like this really perfect, nice um, balance between coral and orange. And I like that it's very, very natural. I don't know if you can see because the lighting is like really hardcore, but it's like, it's there and should i do eyeshadows should i do eyeshadows or not i don't know for the sake of this video should i do it should i just leave it i think i'm gonna do it uh, let's see these are my eye makeup essentials and first of all prime my eyes with this makeup forever hd pressed powder and i bought a new version of this at duty free while i was on vacation but i but it's at home now oh and speaking of home whenever i start residency i won't be living in this dorm anymore because this dorm is made for interns so it's not made for residents well there are rooms for residents for every department there are like on-call rooms that we can sleep in so there are beds and everything it's going to be a like a common on call room so i have to take all of my all of my things to my home so i think that's going to be a long process because there are a lot of things in here and yeah curling my lashes by the way i got this curler from sephora i couldn't find tweezerman anywhere at sephora so 
I just grabbed the one that I saw there. And then my favorite eyeshadow, which is the Laura Mercier Ginger. And I already had pan on it. Whenever I use this all up, maybe I'll buy this one again because I love this so much because it's like so natural and it's so pigmented, so easy to use. I wish I was like really good at makeup, like especially eye makeup. I don't really have a problem with like my face makeup because I always use the products that I love. But for eye makeup, in Spain I bought a few palettes. I bought two palettes, eyeshadow palettes from Too Faced. And let me know if you guys want to see that as well. Even though I have like these amazing, like really cute palettes, like for example, this one, Tartlet palette from Tarte. It's so pretty, like, it's so, so, so pretty. But I don't know, I never have the chance to use all of the colors because I don't know how to do with it. And even if I like watch tutorials and stuff, I'm not good with it. This is like a really, really random video. But I hope you guys enjoy it. If you are patient enough to stick with me like until, until now, thumbs up for you because I don't know I feel like this is going to be boring for a lot of you but I don't know I want to make a lot more videos and upload a lot but I don't really do like anything special every day uh, this is a really nice day because it's the afternoon and I have some spare time and that's so great this is not a normal day this is a very rare occasion where I have some free time oh and I forgot to tell you what color I used. I used this one, Fireside, um, to give some dimension to my eyes as a base for my eyeliner. And that's like the only color that I use mostly because I use ginger and that's and ginger and Fireside and that's it normally. Eyeliner, eyeliner, eyeliner. This is the, oh, it's all erased, but this is the Heroin Make something eyeliner and i always use this same eyeliner so you guys would know if you watched my previous like a bunch of videos that i made so my shift ends at 6 today and then at 6 30 i'm going to my personal training pt and i'm going to apply this kiss me heroin make volume and curl mascara and that's it I've noticed these days that YouTube is really getting popular, especially in Korea. I mean, all around the world, it's it's been popular, but especially in Korea, it's getting like really, really popular. Whenever I meet people or go to dinners and stuff, a lot of people are so interested in YouTube and they really want to be a YouTuber and want to make videos. And I thought that was so cool because whenever I started my YouTube channel, it was back in 2016, um, I was kind of embarrassed embarrassed that people would find out about my videos. I've been watching YouTube videos since 2008. Compared to that, I even started my YouTube channel like way, way, way late. But even in 2015, YouTube wasn't that popular in Korea. It wasn't that big of a boom, but now it's so popular and everyone's interested in filming cameras and editing programs. And I get a lot of questions by my peers and my friends about YouTube and I thought it was so cool. So this is going to be the end of this video. I was only planning to do my skincare but then I started doing foundation and eye makeup and this is how it became. Um, luckily I had enough time to do so. This is kind of a rambly vlog get ready with me. Really random vlog but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful day whenever you're watching this. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys! Bonus clip. The song that I really like these days is this song by Booty. I don't know what it's called in English, but if I do find out, I will make a caption right here and it's this one. Thanks for watching guys!